Youth Express is an organization that is dedicated to youth directed programming. Here with us today in the studio is Chris Olin. And I just have a couple of questions for you, Chris. If you could tell us a bit, first of all, about Youth Express, how it began, and maybe how its vision has evolved, if at all. Sure. Uh, Youth Express began, uh, well, it officially it was incorporated in 1990, um, and it was basically the result of the work of our executive director, Jim Kelly, who had, previous to it being incorporated, had worked with the local community council and had started a youth program within the local community council. Uh, he had also grown up in the neighborhood, so knew it very well, and uh, he basically worked with the community council for a while on a um, youth-driven uh, youth driven programming called Neighborhood Connections, and by 1990 um, wanted to expand that and decided to incorporate a separate organization, and that's when Youth Express um, was created formally as a nonprofit, and um, so since 1990 we've been called Youth Express oh, okay. and so we're about as Youth Express about 15 years old and then with Jim's past experience he's been at it for about 25 years so so um, uh, yeah so it's been around a long time and some pretty deep roots in the community with with him being there so okay well what about yourself what is your particular role in the sure organization? Well, my title is director of education and communication um, I work the communication part is mostly development related, so raising money for the organization through uh, grant writing and... Uh, the important stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, very <laughs> important, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so I, I spend about half my time, a little over half my time doing that, and then the rest of the time I'm helping out with the programming. We have, um, we have a couple of different programs that run uh, during the year, at an after school program, <clears throat> which just started up, uh, the summer program during the summer, and then uh, some youth employment um, programming um, through the Express Bike Shop and then a girls group uh, called Beautiful Intelligent Girls, uh, which was started back in 1998. So I'm involved mostly with the after school program and the summer program. What draws you to this line of work? I mean, when people think about working with, <coughs> you know, youth in particular, what, what's your, you know, interest? Mm -hmm. Or passion for. Yeah, well, I, I was in school and um, I was a communication major during undergrad and after I, that's, that's where I began to work with Youth Express and work with kids uh, through Youth Express. I uh, did, some, did some work with kids before that, but that was the, the first time really started working with kids intensively and uh, really enjoyed it and had always thought about being a teacher as well. And uh, it's, Youth Express is a unique place because there's a chance to not only work with kids and build relationships with them, but also to use some of that, um, the teaching um, skills that you've gained from past experience. And I actually went on and got a teaching license, so I'm able to use that at Youth Express too, at the after school program. And I think, um, you know, I think there's just a lot of, uh, as adults, you know, and you grow older, and 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 sometimes we we look and we look at younger people and, and, mm -hmm. and think they have a lot to learn. And um, at Youth Express, we try to emphasize that they have a lot to contribute to um, through projects and activities and, and, um, and leadership roles through the organization. We try to highlight that as well, and give them a place to start asserting some of their independence. And I know, I know I appreciated that as a young person, and I think we try to do that at Youth Express too whenever we can, so. Yeah, particularly talking about that uh, youth, you know, venture or um, entrepreneurship. How how do you see like what is the the mission you know behind that? I mean, I, I really think that that's valuable to mm -hmm. have young people involved in starting businesses and understanding you know how that works. So how did that come about? Yeah, the Express Bike Shop started back in 1995, and uh, it was at a time when the the economy wasn't the greatest. Mm -hmm. um, it was, and, and so that really kind of trickled down, and I think affected young people too. They weren't able to go find jobs in the city as easily. Mm -hmm. And at Youth Express, a bunch of the kids got together with uh, Randy Trico, who kind of is our enterprise development director, mm -hmm. and decided that they wanted to start their own and, and find, a, find a way to create their own jobs. Um, and that's kind of where the bike shop, why it began and, and how it began. And they got together and renovated a space, an old gas station down on Marshall and Snelling. That's where the bike shop used to be. Oh. And it recently moved east a little further to our new building on Selby Avenue. Uh, but I think the, the idea behind it was, and still is, not only to give youth a kind of a, a, a really high quality first employment experience, um, but I think the small business setting and, 
and the concepts that you need to understand and know to help operate the business um, are really important to kids as they grow older. Not, not, not only if they want to start their own business, which would be great, um, it's not necessarily our goal to have them start their own business, but they understand they understand the marketplace, the free enterprise system, you know, that they're going to grow up and work and live in when they're older. Um, and so hopefully they can be smarter, smarter consumers. Um, and there's also a lot, I think, our, our general theory is there's a lot of things about running a business that will transfer to whatever job they're in. So, you know, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're just running a business and you need to come up with new ideas for how to advertise, um, there's some creative thinking skills that go into that. There's, um, so other than those basic work skills, you know, that you get from having a first job, there's also some things about it happening in a small business where you're getting a chance to, to participate in all the different aspects of operation where you, you pick up some, I think, some unique skills that you might not get at other first, first employment experiences. So, mm -hmm. and the creative thinking is one of them. Um, obviously, um, you know, they do the accounting and they mm -hmm. do customer service. So it's social skills and understanding what, how social skills in a business setting might be different from outside, mm -hmm. you know, outside a business setting or other work settings. So lots of underlying skills that, you know, not only will serve them well into adulthood, but... Um, so do they then um, train, for example, someone mm -hmm. who's been doing it, you know, one of uh, the young, young adults who've been doing it for a while, then train, you know, someone who's coming in, maybe? Sure, yep. We've had actually two, two young people that were there when I actually worked as an assistant manager for, mm -hmm. uh, for a while at the bike shop, and uh, two of the guys that started at about age 14 when I was there went on to become managers. One of them is still a manager, another one went on to pursue another a career track, but um, so they, you know, they've continued on, and as new, new guys came under them, they were helping train them, and uh, eventually, like I said, they became managers, and now one of them's our, our retail manager. Okay. And so it's, it's stories like that that obviously are really, really neat to mm -hmm. share. Um, and then there's other, other kids that come in, and they, they're really interested in the bike repair part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, that's, that's what they focus on most, but they also get exposed to all those different parts of the business, so. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's a great, uh, great, great idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to, it's. To have, yeah, in motion. Mm -hmm. um, I also was wondering where you think, you know, some of the, uh, uh, Central is my alma mater, which is sure. right behind yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Youth Express. Are there a lot of uh, the kids who come to Youth Express from Central or just from kind of all over different uh, neighborhoods? For programs like the after school program mm -hmm. um, and summer program, we, we get um, some older, older central students. Um, those programs for us have usually topped out at about 14, age 14 or oh, 15. Okay. And so um, as far as participants, now we do get some, some part-time staff that we're starting to get from high schools in St. Paul, including mm -hmm. Central, uh, and they come over and work part -time, as part-time uh, staff at the program. The city of St. Paul has a program called the Youth Job Corps where they hire young people to go work at different sites during the summer and we were one of those mm -hmm. so we, we had some central students and other students from the neighborhood around us that worked with the program part-time this summer and have kept working with us during after school so that's an exciting thing when you can kind of have that continuum, you know, going on where there yeah. are participants and then you can find a way to have them continue with you and, yeah. and work with the organization too. And, yeah, that's great, and and then that also provides an outlet for them to to continue doing you know the work right. and things that they want to be doing. Right. Well, great. Yeah. As, is there anything we should know about coming up? Any special events, even if it's you know <laughs> further down the line, some big event or website? How would people contact you? Sure. Um, well, right now we just had our we had our after school program just start uh, the September seventeenth, okay. and we do try to serve um, youth primarily in the neighborhoods around us, so mm -hmm. um, Lexham, Snellingham, Hamlin, and um, Summit University neighborhoods are kind of primarily where kids come from, so mm -hmm. if families are in that those neighborhoods and are looking for an after-school program, that'd be something they could look into, and they just visit the Dunning Rec Center and pick up a registration form. Um, okay. We've got the bike shop 
The Express Bike Shop is open on 1158 Selby Avenue. It's a new place for them, and they've been able to do some cool, um, cool things with the, the layout and the format and merchandising in ways they weren't able to do before. So okay. come visit them if you're interested in getting your bike tuned up or Great. buying a new used bike. So <laughs> Great. Well, thanks, Chris. We sure. are out of time. I okay. really appreciate you joining us in the studio today. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> thanks. All right.